Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm in the city of Jamestown, North Dakota, which is right off of Highway 94. And they have one major attraction center here, right off of the interstate, which is a Frontier Village and the Buffalo Museum, which also has outdoors the world's largest buffalo, or at least the world's largest buffalo statue. So let me show you around the attraction here. First I'm going to show you around the Frontier Village which is free to see by the way. It has your typical Pioneer Village buildings and I'm going to start off here with the depot. Now here is a rare item, a caboose, all made out of wood. A wooden gatehouse, and this is a utility, small utility vehicle. It does have a gas engine in there. Inside the depot is just a store with a lot of varied kinds of goods for sale. And right across the street from the depot is a log cabin which you can go in and see the furnishings. And here they have another wooden caboose. There's a general store, a schoolhouse, and you can go in and see the inside of the one room schoolhouse. And here is a pioneer church. There's a barber shop and a trading post. It says open, let's go see what's in there. Well, it's just a store with souvenirs and various things. How would you like to have one of these for a keychain? <laughs> Frontier Bank, blacksmith shop, and across the street is a place where you can sign up for pony rides right there and let's check out the saloon well I came into the saloon there's a bartender but I couldn't even get a beer this is some saloon there's the sheriff's office it has two jail cells which you can go into <laughs> if you want there's a print shop and an art gallery. You can take a stagecoach ride. There's an insurance office, post office, and a dentist. I have been to a couple of dentists lately actually, which didn't do me a whole lot of good. Maybe I should check into the dentist here. This guy looks just as competent as your average dentist, I think. I think this lady does look a little worried though. Now let's take a look at the National Buffalo Museum. And right outside here they have a statue of a normal size, full size buffalo. And that's in contrast with the world's largest buffalo statue, way over there. Well, let's go in. I can see already we're going to have a lot of conflict between the words buffalo and bison. I do like this full-size skeleton. And this buffalo head, they claim is 10,000 years old. And then we have his much younger brother. <laughs> Here is a coat made from buffalo. I don't think I've seen one of those before. 
and even buffalo gloves. They all have curly hair. You'll notice. You see Theodore Roosevelt referred to in many, many places in North Dakota because he built a ranch here while he was president. This shows how the bison population has grown over the years. It didn't start to rise until 72 and then very steadily up to, I guess now is the maximum population. Over 362,000. Well, this guy had a really bad day. Be turning to this. <laughs> there is differences between bison and buffalo. They're actually different species. They have some features that are commonly different between the two. And here's a white, an all white albino bison and there are two different kinds of bison and you know what I've seen a lot of buffalo out in the wild and they never look like this <laughs> at least with their coats every one that I've seen their coats are really a mess just peeling off in places I think it's a seasonal shedding and I always seem to catch them at the worst looking time of the year. This is interesting. And here is a fine example of an Alaskan brown bear and a timber wolf. And here we have a bison calf. Well, folks, that's about all that's in the museum. So now let's go out and get a closer look at the world's largest buffalo. Well, here it is, folks. And I can barely get the whole thing in my viewfinder. And here are the statistics on it. 46 feet long, 26 feet high, 14 feet wide, and weighs 60 tons. And this lowest part here is about 4 inches above my head. That just shows you, <laughs> gives you an idea how big it is. There you are. It is very tall. You have a really good shot of it from the interstate there. So here is his rump. One last look at it. That's something. I didn't show you a lot of detail in the buildings, but I did show you all the buildings, most of which I've been turned <laughs> into commercial shops and the Buffalo Museum is right behind here so it's worth a stop if you're driving by Jamestown good day folks